Hey guys, all right, so we have a uh, bag opening, I guess you'd say. Yeah. Um, she got this from Facebook Marketplace? Yes. Um, I got her for $60 plus shipping. I don't remember what shipping was exactly. I think it was she probably $80 of shipping. Um, so this is supposed to be Jasmine goes to Grandma's? Yeah, Jasmine goes to Grandma's. Uh, she, uh, the only thing that's changed about her is her hair. Uh, I don't remember if Jasmine originally had a wig or if her hair was glued on, but it has been removed and been replaced with beautiful rooted hair. Um, we're hoping it's she's the same doll that I ordered and not a fluke because she did come in a bag, which is kind of strange why she wouldn't put her in a, a uh, box, but maybe it's because it's cheaper on shipping, which I can understand that. I don't know why I put the scissors up, so apparently I'll do this by hand for now. But yeah, let's get right into this. Bag within a bag? Yep, a bag within a bag. Okay. These have been double. Oh. She's been very well protected. They have. Oh. It's definitely the doll I ordered. There's a card. You know, whenever you get gifts, you should open the card first, guys. It says, Thank you so much. Thank you for your purchase. I hope your baby. Brings you as much joy as she has brought us. I don't know her. I can't tell. What, this is God Bless over here, but I can't tell the name. Oh, Bria. Yeah, it probably says Bria. But there's a little cute card. It says thank you. And it came in the envelope. Just make sure I'm not showing any addresses over here. Um, but yeah, that is the little card I got. Let's get this bubble wrap off of her. I mean, I've already seen her face in uh, photos, so I'm not going to worry about that. But it's rubbery. Yeah, she's one of the newer ones, I believe, for National Great. Oh, hi, baby. I love her. She's got her ears pierced, too. Ooh. I'm about to brush that out, but that is adorable. She's got really long hair now, curly. Um, I have to wash the hair. It smells. It smells like it was rooted, basically. The eyelashes don't look like they've been rooted, but they look very long. They look like they've been put on very low, though. But she feels like she's one fourth arm and full legs. Her legs are movable. It's an interesting body. So here she is. Might mess with her hair. I think it would be really cute in a little ponytail or pigtails. Her final seems weird. It's got stuff in it. She's definitely weighted. Um, but she comes in this little hedgehog outfit. I love hedgehogs. Her head's not turnable, so she's permanently looking off in the distance in the uh, to you guys at the, the left direction. Um, she's got some rosiness to her face, so it's really cute. But her hair, I feel like it needs brushed out a little bit. Oh, well, it's been in. She's been in that bag for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, so here are her little feet. They're really cute. Yeah, I'm definitely going to wash her hair. It smells like she just got rooted, which is something the uh, buyer said that would happen. The seller. So, the seller. Sorry, I'm the buyer. The seller said that would happen anyway, so... I think that is okay, and I'll figure it out. But she's got really unique hands. One's pointing, the other one is saying, I love you, in sign language. If anybody speaks sign language out there, I don't really, but I know that that's I love you, at least. Um, she's got a little nick to her, uh, her thumb. I don't remember if the uh, the seller told me that, but um, yeah, she's got a little nick to her thumb. Um, trying to see if there's any issues with her vinyl, as far as I can see, with just her feet and hands being poked out. But yeah, here is her rooted hair. It's it'll be managed. I will wash it and brush it out. It's it feels like it's curly. Um, her both her ears are pierced. There's one. Here's two. She's really precious. I feel like they replaced her body, honestly. But let's go ahead and take her outfit off. Well, actually, let mom hold her first, and then we'll take her outfit off. I wonder how long she is. Do we have the measuring tape? Yeah, we do. Yeah. She looks pretty long. I 
I've been, I actually have been looking at her for a while. She's been listed on the Facebook Marketplace for a while. 21. She's 21 inches. All right, so let's take off her outfit, see what size she's wearing, see if she's even wearing a diaper. She is. Ooh, they put it, they put jointed full legs on her. Zero to three. She's wearing zero to three, which is most of our babies, but that's okay. We've got plenty of clothes. Considering we always predict that this will happen, because a lot of dolls tend to be about that size. But she might need a new diaper. She's got jointed um it's just weird arms. bodies. Ash and Drake likes to put their babies in weird bodies. Is this the original though? No. Yeah. I can tell you no. Yeah, this definitely looks like a different body. She they put a lot of time into this doll. They basically reborned her. I am just basic reborning though. Um yeah, so here no, one second, let me get the arm up. Mom's looking at the back of her neck to see if there's any other information we can find out. But here is her long sleeve. Walter onesie. Hanley? Walter Hanley. Um, I'll put in the video and the description what her uh, is the artist maker. is. It's just one U, three month. And then this one is a zero to three uh, old baby. Old baby. What ruffles in the back? But yeah, she's wearing, what kind of diaper is she wearing? Pampers? Gloves. She's wearing gloves. I'm hoping, because we're out of ones, we gotta get some more size one diapers. I don't know. So it's either a newborn or size two, if you want to change the diaper. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I see my options now. So here is her without her clothing on. So she's got jointed full limbs. And jointed. And jointed one fourth arms, which bodies like this are not easy to find. So I've, they might they might have made it. That's a possibility too. Because I know there's some. I I get um this one this leg feels like it might need a new zip tie because it's kind of popping out a little bit. There's an uh, Etsy store that I get some of my jointed colons or babies from Body yeah, so Doesn't specify a year on her neck, but it says Waltrud. I think she recently became retired. Mm, she's really cute. I love her. She's the only one that the lady made that was reborn. But I adore her. Um, I wish that her head could turn, but that's pretty much the only issue. And I'll have to figure out her, her hair. I like the rooted hair better anyway. So, And she did a really good hairline. Like, it like starts in the middle, like a V, and then it goes around. So this whoever rooted her, very good. Did a very good job. Um, her face has some blushing to it. I don't know if the lady reborned her or if that's how she usually is. That's not how she usually is. No. At least not by the pictures. So she's been reborn a little bit. But yeah, this is her face. Um, her eyelashes seem like mohair eyelashes, but they, I don't know if they're rooted or not. Um, I can't tell, honestly. But they, they go over her eyes quite a bit. I, you guys can't really tell that too much just by looking at her in the camera. But yeah, they kind of do go over her eyelashes a bit just get her cleaned up she uh i think i do vaguely remember the seller telling me about her hand and i was like oh we're, we're good with babies that have some issues to them i'm like this is so minor honestly it's just the vinyl's coming off a little bit right there like it was nicked it's okay it's not the end of the world but yeah this is little jasmine ghost grandma's um I don't know if I'll rename her or not. We don't. I don't think we have a Jasmine in our house yet. But yeah. Um, so if you want her, she'll, you'll have to find her either on Macari or eBay or Facebook Marketplace. Because like I said, I believe she's recently became retired. Um, I know I like to get the other Jasmine. I just recently found Jasmine one. No, the uh, the miniature. The, oh. the tiny miracle one for sale off on Macari that I'm debating on getting. Uh, she's 10 inches. Uh, we also want to get the one and a half year old Jasmine, too. But that might be hard to find. Yeah. Well, this is little Jasmine. This is our first Jasmine we've ever had in our house. We're happy to have her part of our collection now. And we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks, guys.